welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be an everyday makeup routine and if you guys are interested in seeing how I do my makeup every day and this is not really like every day because usually I don't really wear makeup every day but this is if I just want to go out I'm going to I don't know the mall or something with my friends and I just want to look put together and presentable this is what I do just very glowy and like the eyes are very natural and yeah. So starting off, I'm going to be using the Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray. And I like to use this before my makeup because it just makes like a really nice base. And it just makes your skin look really glowy and nice on the inside or underneath your makeup. So this is what I've been really using a lot lately. And I actually got this for like points for Sephora. So if you guys have a lot of points from Sephora, I recommend going like whenever you check out to redeem as much stuff as you can. Because sometimes they have some really good stuff. Okay, so moving on, after I apply my base, I usually just start with my eyebrows. And I've been using the e.l.f. like duo eyebrow brush gel thing. And I also use the pencil as well. And I use this in the color Deep Brown. So I'm just going to fill it in and then set it with the brow gel. So usually I like to brush them out first just because like it just helps. Like I never used to brush them out before I did them. And that's, I don't know why that's like so weird. Because usually I would just go in and like start filling them in but then it would look choppy and like no and light strokes are key when you are using a pencil because you want it to look as natural as possible i learned that the hard way i usually would like press on it because i'm i don't know why maybe i'm just really heavy-handed but i would literally like press onto my eyebrow and it would just be a hot mess so light strokes are key Ain't nobody quite like you got me falling through and through straight to the top i'm tumbling As you can tell, like, I barely fill them in. I just want them to have a little bit of shape. Nothing crazy. So then I just start with the other one. Oh, one. Oh. Okay. Why I'm acting out my brain. Oh, I've never been like this before. Oh, why did I wait so long to soar? I can't help but always think of you. Now, after my eyebrows are done, I'm going to move on to my eyes. And I like to do my eyes very, very natural. Like, sometimes I'll do a little... I don't know. Sometimes I'll do something, but most of the time it's like natural, neutral browns. Like, that's kind of my thing. Before I apply my eyeshadow, I'm going to prime it. So I just used the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Amande. And I blend it out with my BH Cosmetics 121 brush. And it's just some, like, random flat top brush that I use to, like buff out the concealer you see how nice this blends out like what so after that i'm going to be setting my eyelids with the laura mercier translucent uh setting powder and this is in the color Translucent Medium Deep. If you guys are of darker skin tones, I really recommend this Translucent Medium Deep Loose Setting Powder. Like, it is so good. I had the other one, like the original one, and this one just changed my life. Like, it's like 100 times better. And it doesn't really make you look ashy. Like, it's just a rich... I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just... Like, oh, I love it. So, I'm just going to take a little bit and just set my eyelids... So after that, I'm going to move on to my eyeshadow, and I've been loving the Cute AF ColourPop eyeshadow. I literally use it, like, almost every day if I'm, like, going out. It has really nice neutral tones, and it has, like, a couple of reddish tones. I don't know. It just seems very sunset-esque to me. I don't know. It just reminds me of the sunset. But I'm going to be using this, and I use, like, very natural colors. This is basically a makeup look that I would do if I'm, like, going out with friends or, like, just doing something, like, casual, but I still want to look you know, put together and not bummy, so, yeah. Well, the first thing that I'm going to do is use this color right here, and I have no idea what it's called. I think this is called Chauffeur, and I'm just going to be buffing this in my crease. Tonight, lady, oh, I'm 
I'm so excited You're enchanting me with everything you do like a nice wash of color I don't know it just looks pretty natural to me and that's why like I love it and I just use like windshield wiper motions after that is done I'm going to be using a different brush and this is more of like a tapered blending brush so I'm going to be using the next shade so this is just like a darker like orange color I can't even describe it but I'm gonna be using this shade right here and just putting it in my crease as well This is so pretty guys. So after that, I'm going to be using the Sigma E40 Taper Blending Brush and just like blend everything together. Oh, I'm so, excited. so this is what I usually do for the eyes and now we're just going to move on to the face. The first thing that I'm going to be using is the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks and I have been obsessed with these matchsticks ever since I got them. I actually got them for Christmas and like I have not stopped using them. They're so pretty. I recommend like... And I got the deepest, like, set. To conceal, I'm going to be using the matchstick in the color Suede. And I love this matchstick. It is just, it's just like a regular concealer, basically. And I'm just going to be putting that underneath my eyes. And then after I put on the concealer, I'm just going to blend it out with my BB Blender. What I do notice about this concealer, though, it is very dry. Like, you have to kind of work with it. But the coverage that you get is not bad. And I like how it looks on my skin. It looks very natural. So... Yeah. So after I put on the concealer, I like to contour and I use the Espresso Matchstick and I love this matchstick a lot. It gives really nice contour but it's not too red because I noticed that like a lot of contours that are for like darker skinned people are just so red and it just does not come out well. Like, like if you agree because this is not red. I love it. It's my baby. Guys, look at this. Ready? So I kind of just follow the natural, like, hollows of my cheek. I don't really, like, exaggerate it too much. So I'm only going to put a little bit right here. And on this side. I keep sticking to my earrings. So my camera battery decided to die on me and not get me putting on my highlight, like, what? So I'm just gonna show you guys what I use for like the rest of my face. So I first use the Glossier Haloscope Highlighter and in the color Topaz. And I usually just put it on the high points of my cheek. And I'll just give you guys like a little demonstration just like that. And I usually use my middle finger when I do that. But yeah, it just adds a pretty nice glow, like a really, really nice glow. And I've been using this for a year now. It's been a full year. And I've been using this. So I recommend 100% if you guys want like that glow. If you want that natural glow that kind of just like sinks into your skin. So after that I just curl my lashes and I use the CoverGirl Total Tees. Usually if I'm going out with like friends and stuff I like to put on lashes like if I'm feeling fancy. But on the regular I just put on like some regular mascara and I have non-existent eyelashes. So you know it's not that hard for me to put on mascara. It takes like two seconds because I have two lashes. So. That's my life. To top everything off, I use the Glossier Lip Gloss. And when I tell you, this lip gloss is... It's amazing. Like, I love this lip gloss so much. Like, it's just... If you want a lip gloss that stays on for a long time, and it's super just glossy, and as you guys can see, like, it's just literally amazing and it may look tiny but this stuff like it lasts a really really long time the last thing that I do is just set my face again with the same Clinique moisture surge face spray and it just kind of melts everything down and like I'll spray some more because this stuff is great like it just makes your skin look Oh, it just, oh, I can't even explain it. So that was it for my everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want more like makeup videos or anything like makeup related, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'm trying to think of doing like an everyday series where I just do like everyday like outfits that I usually wear, like everyday hair. Like if you guys are interested in how I did my hair, 
But yeah, I love you guys so much and just make sure to subscribe if you want to be notified when I post new videos. I love to have you here. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. I got nothing else to say, but I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.